Hi, it's David Goldstein. As you just saw in our investigation, that list we obtained called out hundreds of people in the Las Virginas Municipal Water District using too much water. Now, many of those people are A-list celebrities. We tried reaching out to many of them and did hear back from a couple of their representatives, but only one sat down with us, even invited us to her house as she was having drought-tolerant plants put in, and that's Erin Brockovich. You saw a little bit of that interview. We wanted to show you more, so take a look. You are known for environmental causes. Mm -hmm. I am. Yet you are listed as a water offender. Yeah, well, let, I'm happy to have that conversation. I am uh, about water. I'm about pollution of water. I'm but also, you're also a, an offender according to the water. That's district. right. And I make mistakes. You're, ri you're ripping all this out. Yeah, I'm ripping everything out. So look, this is the last thing I wanted to do. Right. And I am known, clearly, and I care a great deal about water, and most of my fights are pollution of water. Water conservation isn't new to me, but I'm learning a lot and realizing that maybe I hadn't been the best water conservationist. I'm going to be one now. One thing that I'm doing is taking my grass out, which I didn't realize I had 3,000 square feet of lawn and it's one of my biggest water consumptions right. and the sprinklers there. and I can either let it die which I didn't want to do I could do turf which I didn't want to do or I could do some type of desert you know landscape in Southern California native grasses that can handle the drought so what are you gonna do so I've ultimately decided to do turf do you think you're a water offender? No, I don't think I'm a water offender. Um, look, water's complicated. Yeah, I've always said water is a story, never a sound bite. And I'm aware when I get my water bills what's going on. So I've been awfully conscientious about what was coming since about December 2021 and started making inroads into where am I using all this water? This has been a great lesson for me. And I'm the first person, if I've done something wrong, I'll own it, don't care. And I could see, I'm like, where's all this? Do I have a leak? Do I have a subslab leak? What's happening to all my water? And I'm learning a lot about water conservation. We also talked with Kaysen Gilner from the Las Virginas Municipal Water District about that water flow restrictor that you saw in the story. He walks us through the installation process, shows us exactly how that little washer saves hundreds of gallons of water in an hour by limiting water flow from 30 gallons a minute to just one. It's small enough to where it slides in right at the meter connection. There's no changing out a big valve or doing any, any crazy maintenance. It's, it's pretty quick and painless as far as installation. So this goes right? Yeah, it just goes right in between. So I would just slip it here. I have to put another gasket there. And the meter just goes right back where it was. You can see it's right. So imagine this is the customer service line All right. going into their house and their irrigation and whatever else is used after the meter. We our responsibility in normal circumstances ends here as well, right at the end, the back side of the meter. All right, so this went from 26. Yeah, down to, um, full, and that was 26 and I was throttled here. I could have gone more. Okay. Um, now I have this, all the valves are wide open and the maximum you can get is just a little under one gallon a minute. And you can see like that, remember earlier that meter was spinning pretty good? Right. That's as fast as it goes now. And as the service line behind the meter, like you can imagine when it's going through there, it's like a little water gun, right? But when the, when the service line is full, it looks like what you, what you would see up there, which is your basic, like your, your standard sink is around one gallon a minute. So a sink indoors doesn't really look too affected by the restrictor. A shower at three to five gallons a minute is quite a bit less, but it still comes out and flows and you can still shower. You can fill a pot for cooking, and all that fun stuff, but your irrigation definitely won't kick on because there's too much 
But can you take a shower and wash dishes? At no, the same time? two two yeah. things at once is two yeah. things at once. Like two sinks at one time, and they both they both fizzle out. So you have to be really conscious about what's being used. It's one endpoint really, because you imagine if it's only one gallon here, and your sink is one gallon, and you have two sinks on, they're both fighting each other to get that one gallon. You can't really live uh, your normal day. No, day. It's, it, I, I don't imagine it's um, it's it's not it's not great. No, at okay. home. I actually uh, tested one out at my house. What'd you think? It wasn't great, but you know I could I'd clean the dishes and cook dinner, but it was it wasn't the best thing in the world. Now, thank you for watching. You can see the full segment on CBSLA.com.